Thank you for stopping by in this channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my 2023 bullet journal. I am using a Archer and Olive 160 GSM. I am, I've got this um, notebook since last year. And I'm also using Tombow brushes for the design. The theme for this journal is floral. I just got the inspiration from um, YouTube creators like um, Shada Campbell and Erin Smith. They have lots of information and tutorial about on how to create uh, beautiful flowers like this. I've practiced a lot and so far I am really liking the result and um, I really enjoy doing this so I hope that you also enjoy watching this. So far, I really like the result of the cover page. I'm really happy with the result. So right now, I'm just adding the uh, year. I got I got this cut out from Cricut. Um, not very artistic, so I just the best way to do all this with a very nice font is to just use the Cricut. I use a removable vinyl for this and use a old uh, transfer tape so it's not really very sticky and it did not ruin the paper i also added this accent with the word uh, for the year from sans 34 have courage take heart moving on i'm going to the second page which, which is the year at a glance um, i also just got this from Cricut. You know, you don't don't really have to hustle and write all those. I don't have beautiful handwriting, so Cricut is there to the rescue. Um, also the same thing. Print out all the calendars so I don't have to write it. I just need to cut it and paste it nicely here. So really, you don't have to be art artistic. If you have a printer, go to Canva, create the fonts, beautiful fonts. They have it. Print it out, cut it, and put it together in your journal. Put a little colors line here and there, and it will turn out to be really nice if you put your heart on it. So here I'm just adding the names for the months, and I'm using a rubber stump. I got this from Amazon under ten dollars, and it's also nice. It's cursive calligraphy without all the hard work and then I'm just adding more flowers at the bottom to put some decoration and to continue on with the theme The next part is um, my next pages, which is for my budget, for my um, goals, and when did I last, some pages that I really use in my journal. So I am creating a kind of Dutch door, but it's just a small one to create a tab so it's easy for me to look for it. So the first page is uh, make it happen this is my somewhat a, a goal page so i uh, subdivided it to family wellness travel and for myself what do i need to improve work and 
then I also added a um, space on things that I want to focus on for this year. Also, I found this really nice font letter stamp from Etsy. It's called the Cherry Company and they support single mom and sons. So if you'd like to support them, I'll put on the link below. Next is my budget page. I really use this a lot. So here I was thinking of a Dutch board, but then I realized, oh, I'm just going to put a pouch to put my budget. And in this cardboard, I'm going to decorate it more with flowers. As you can see, there's already flowers. Um, behind this are my monthly budget that I set for this year. And under this window cardboard is another uh, savings list for this year. And then on top are my um, payables every month. So I get reminded what are the dues for this month and what are done and what are not done. I also added the word intentional. So I'll be reminded every day to be intentional on my savings and everything and my spending. Now this is something new that I'm just going to do this year. This is when did I last. I got inspired from many different uh, journal creators and i think that it i really need this one because some many times i will forget when did i last dye my hair or when did i last give the dog a bath so it is a good reminder to to have this here handy every time i needed to think when was the last time so i know i think this is going to be a useful page so the next page is my 2023 list um the movies, the books, the um, hikes, walks, and even places, and among other things, there also I put also a space for something new that I'm going to try for this year. final page is my about me and some words actually this is just extra because i got an extra um, tab for the dutch door so um i just added about me and i still don't know what I'm going to write there so i just put four blanks and then i printed out a very nice word from proverbs about a guide for my 2023 um, always do what is right And for final touches, you see here I removed that floral washi tape that I put on my uh, tabs. Instead, I put a solid colors where I use the same uh, color combination from the one that I use for the flowers. I realize I have uh, made so much flowers already in these pages that I don't need to add additional um, washi tape flowers to crowd it more so and i am happy with the result that i've used a different color combination so it's really nice too and i'm happy with it so another final touches it's just adding additional lines for all this list um i use a very very light pink color so it's not really obvious but it's going to help me when i write in these pages Although I really like this but it seems like it's too much so I decided I'm going to change the washi tape to a more solid color but then eventually I decided to just remove this one and change the style into some kind of window flap that I can just put the cardboard on top so you will see here I still tried the yellow um, washi tape so it's not going to crowd uh, the only flower that's going to be seen here are the florence flowers that i've drawn the rest will be just solid color i like that one but this one i decided to change it and decided i'm just going to put it put the budget under 
this cardboard um, decoration. And I removed the word intentional and pasted it here. I'm going to print out the my budget again and print it under this cardboard. And I'm just going to stick a washi tape on top to hold it. And I think it turned out to be much better and I like it and I'm happy that I decided to change it. So this is my 2023 um, bullet journal. If you have come this far, thank you so much for sticking and I hope that I have inspired you. Um, I am not really an artist but I learned by imitation and I followed all the tutorials that are available online. So if i can do this you can also do this too thank you for watching